At big public displays and on front porch stoops, jack-o'-lanterns are lighting up communities on this weekend before Halloween. Most of the designs are pretty basic, requiring only a few angled cuts for the eyes, nose, and mouth. But occasionally you'll come across an amazingly intricate design and wonder, how'd they do it? Brian McRae is in Racine with a master carver taking pumpkin art to a whole new level. For master pumpkin carver Steve Dawkey, he's watching his unusual canvas be placed in its new home. The massive gore being moved by more than nine men and a forklift. Also, Dawkey can begin his spooky artwork. And I start carving for Craft Fair USA out in Milwaukee. Dawkey has been carving into the Halloween staple for more than three decades, starting when he was just 18 years old, learning from a book. I did one carving, entered it in the contest, and I took first place. And while no artist starts off perfectly, Dawkey learned his way around the guts and brains of the fruit, drawing inspiration from the colder months. I switched over to the ice carving tools to do the pumpkin carving because they last longer. The carver of fruit has had his work commissioned by major events and big venues from across the nation. Uh, Brookfield Zoo, Lincoln Park Zoo. I carved at Longwood Gardens, uh, Nakusa Pumpkin Way Off, Warren's Cranberry Fest. Donkey says he has a technique all of his own. It's different. There's other people who carve different things, and I have my style, and this is what I do. I do ones where the eyeballs hang out of the eye, um, or the straight face look, or I'll do something with the teeth, or have the tongue sticking out. The job a quiet one, so is Donkey. For this artist, his tools do all the talking. I can sit down for like four or five hours just sitting there, just carving the pumpkins and not moving at all. A macabre art appropriate for a man whose first aspiration in life were equally as ghoulish. I want to be the funeral director. Carefully carving away the orange skin of the pumpkin, the peelings falling onto the brown haystack like autumn leaves on a crisp fall day, an image slowly begins to emerge with each stroke of his tool. And while pumpkins come in all shapes and sizes, for Donkey, it's about what's close to the core. Yeah, a lot of people don't see it, and when they do see it, it's a big shock for them. Donkey's son, Patrick Donkey, self-proclaimed art handler, oversees the movement of the precious cargo. He says the ghoulish drawing and large fruit have a tendency to draw a crowd. You know, usually a 10-minute gas station stop turns into 30 minutes or more sometimes. People want to talk, take pictures. It's always good. The gorgeous fruit and artisan work, often leaving behind pumpkin for people to talk about, carving out fall fun, something Donkey says he plans on keeping lit. I'll just probably keep on doing it until I croak. 